Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the incredible journey of a true guitar wizard, none other than the one and only Neil Sean. Buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. Neil Joseph Sean, born February 27th, 1954, is an American rock musician, best known as the founder and lead guitarist for the band Journey. Is the only sole original member to remain throughout the group's history. He was a member of the rock band Santana before forming Journey. He's also been a member of Bad English during Journey's hiatus from 1987 to 1995 and was also an original member of the band Hardline. Neil Sean is a name that resonates with many rock music lovers. As the lead guitarist for the band Journey, he's responsible for some of the most famous songs and classic guitar solos in music history. But did you know that his story is filled with unbelievable twists and turns? Sean was born at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma, the son of Matthew and Barbara Sean. His father was a big band musician, arranger, and composer, and played and taught all reed instruments with an emphasis on tenor saxophone. His mother was a big band singer. Neil Sean's musical journey began at an early age. He started playing guitar at the age of 10. He attended Aragon High School in San Mateo, California, later dropping out to pursue his music career after meeting Greg Raleigh. Sean displayed an undeniable talent and passion for music. By the time he was 15, he was already making waves in the San Francisco music scene. A quick learner, he joined Santana in 1971. Sean has said that he was also asked by Eric Clapton to join Derek and the Dominoes, but that he joined Santana's band instead performing on the albums Santana 3 and Caravan Sarai. Sean also played in the band Azteca, a Santana offshoot. In 1973, he, Greg Raleigh, and manager Herbie Herbert co-founded the Golden Gate Rhythm Section, which would later be renamed to Journey after a suggestion by roadie John Villanueva. Sean co-founded the band Journey, which would go on to become one of the biggest rock acts of all time. Their blend of melodic rock and Sean's electrifying guitar skills captivated audiences worldwide. But here's the shocking part. Sean was only 15 when he joined Santana, one of the most revered bands of the early 70s. Can you imagine being a teenage prodigy playing alongside a legend like Carlos Santana or Eric Clapton? It was an incredible leap for Sean and his time with Santana shaped his unique guitar style, blending rock, blues, and Latin influences into something truly extraordinary. Now let's talk Neil Sean's guitar collection. It's no secret that he's a guitar aficionado, if you follow him on Instagram. And his collection is mind-blowing, from vintage Les Pauls to custom-made masterpieces. Sean's arsenal of guitars is a treasure trove for any guitar enthusiast. He auctioned off numerous guitars a few years ago, but continues to buy and collect more vintage and modern guitars. Gibson Guitars made a Neil Sean model. Paul Reed Smith has had a Neil Sean NS model, as well as Sean having his own guitar line of Sean guitars in the mid 80s, which were featured heavily on Journey's Raised on Radio album and tour. Neil Sean's guitar impact goes beyond his guitar prowess. He's respected and admired by fellow musicians from all genres, from Slash to Steve Perry. Many have spoken highly of his talent, work ethic, and his magic he brings to every performance. And speaking of performances, let's not forget Neil Sean's mesmerizing live shows. Whether he's taking center stage with Journey or performing alongside other musical giants, his energy and virtuosity are truly unmatched. His fingers dancing on the fretboard create a symphony of emotions that leave audiences in awe. Sean's guitar style is influenced by guitarists such as B.B. King, Albert King, Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, and Carlos Santana. In addition to several solo albums, including Late Night and Electric World, and his work with Journey, Sean's work also includes a pair of albums with keyboardist Jan Hammer. He has also collaborated with Sammy Hager on 
HSAS, as well as doing a blues album with Paul Rogers of Bad Company. He was also in Bad English that featured Journey's Jonathan Kane and Dean Costernovo and Kane's former babies bandmates, John Waite and Ricky Phillips. And he joined the band Hardline with the Gioelli brothers in the early 1990s. Even as Journey's latest lineup plays to still faithful body of fans, Sean has immersed himself in side projects such as solo albums like Piranha Blues and the band Soul Circus with Jeff Scott Soto. On February 9th, 2018, Sean played a charity show at San Francisco's The Independent, benefiting North Bay Fire Relief. The group recruited featured former Journey drummer Dean Costronovo, who also sang some of the lead vocals, former Journey keyboardist Greg Raleigh, and bassist Marco Mendoza. In 2019, Sean announced a tour to be called Neil Sean's Journey Through Time. The tour was slated to feature... Castronovo, Raleigh, and Mendoza. Sean played the Star Spangled Banner on electric guitar for the opening game of the 2022 NBA Finals. Sean was inducted into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame in 2013 and into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Journey in 2017. It's not all about music for Neil Sean. He's also a dedicated philanthropist, using his influence to give back to the community. From supporting music education programs to raising awareness for important causes, Sean continues to make a positive impact. Neil Sean's journey is an extraordinary tale of talent, determination, and the power of music. From his early days as a young prodigy to becoming a guitar icon, his story is one for the ages. Journey are currently wrapping up their 50th anniversary tour, and Neil Sean's Journey Through Time concert has been released as a CD DVD. So there you have it, folks. The untold story of Neil Sean, the guitar wizard who rocked our world. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share it with your fellow music lovers. Until next time, keep rocking.